Got a blast. What is going on, my people? How is everybody doing? And how is everybody failing in today? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an incredible, overpowered Tony Allen lockdown build. This build is going to be insane, my people. You are going to be able to defend any point guard that got like a 90 something speed. Regardless of like one, one through four, you should be able to guard. Centers, mm, I don't know, but you should be able to guard one through four, okay? Because especially those those speedy point guards that like to ball handle and 99 three, you are gonna listen. So first things first, right? We need the attributes to see what we're working with. So look at this, 83 on the driving layup. That is more than enough to get the job done. Driving dunk of an 85. So you're gonna be getting beautiful dunks with this 85, all right? Then you have a 74 close shot that is more than enough to get the job done, right? So the inside game is gonna be great. We love to see it. Now, the mid-range and three-point shot, uh, to be honest, I would rather put this low and put like a 76 three ball so you can at least hit some threes from time to time. I don't really care about that mid-range shot, you know? Free throw is at a 70. That's like the bare minimum that you should have. Some people are hitting mid-range. I mean, free throws with a 60, that's cool, but I feel like 70 is like the sweet spot. Now, playmaking. So it looks like, well, I mean, it's not bad. I would say this is where the build takes a hit, but if you think about it, the passing, uh, it's not really that good. The ball handling and speed is decent because you still could get some good animations with this and some good badges. So 70 is actually not bad, all right? This is where we want to be focusing on, all right? So look at this. Interior defense of a 60, we ain't really worried about that, but that 97 perimeter defense, you are going to be clamping up. First team or defense type of defense is what you want to try to have with this build all right now we have that still at an 86 just by going 85 you literally get gold interceptor so that's going to be nice but you're going to see how i make this build this build is going to be stupid on defense it's going to be ridiculous right then we look at the physicals 84 speed uh 97 agility 75 strength 78 vertical 90 stamina but almost forgot 68 offensive rebound with a 60 defensive rebound so you're going to be able to rebound too so this is going to be a shooting guard so we're going to go to the my player builder and create the one and only tony allen right my people so we in the my player builder as you can see first and last name tony allen right hand jersey number is nine so you want to go shooting guard right this is very important you want to go shooting guard and then you want to go to 6'4 you want to put that weight to 113 and then you want to go with a seven foot wingspan i just decided to max out that wingspan why not we're gonna max that out it's gonna help us be better um on board defenders and it's gonna help us to be able to be better on the passing lane stills all right so first things first you already know we're starting with the vertical so what we want to do is you want to go 70 on the vertical absolutely 70 is like a solid amount this is all you need to show help you get your rebounds the blocks and all of that good stuff all right now the strength we're going 73 because we want to be able to get that move to enforcer and that strong handles and physical finisher as well my people you're gonna be super fast with this build look at this i went all the way to 194 my people who is getting past you if they don't have a 99 speed, listen, you are clamping everybody up with this. Then we're going 91 on the speed, my people. Look at this. Just, just based off the speed and the agility alone, nobody is getting past you. You're locking them up. It's lockdown university out here. Straight defensive menace. They cannot breathe. You're going to be guarding them full court. You're going to be locking them up in the half court. You're gonna be everywhere, running, gunning, all of that. It's gonna be insane, all right? So, I'm gonna save the best for last. Actually, let's do the rebounding real quick. So we're gonna be able to have a decent rebound. So look, 75 on the offensive rebound, and then we're gonna go 61 on the defensive rebound, all right? So I just went 75 because it was so cheap to put here. So I just maxed out that 75 offensive, and then I went 61 defensive rebound. So 
the build is already looking insane from the physicals you're going to be able to rebound max wingspan all of that good stuff so we're going to go 74 that's solid on a close shot we're going to go 83 on the driving layup and then we're going to go 85 on the driving dunk because that's what tony Allen had for his attributes we're leaving the standing dunk at a 30 but we will go with a 60 on the post control right here so you can see great finishing the dunking is going to be great we get posterized on bronze we also get a lot of great dunk packages by having an 85 driving dunk now the mid-range shot so i decided to still go with at least a 72 so we're gonna be able to you know hit the wide open ones but now we can hit wide open three-point shots with a 76 so this build is looking crazy my people i'm telling you 64 and below you just get way better attributes man and that's just how 2k is catering so we're gonna go 80 on a free throw because we want to be able to hit consistently at the free throw and then the pass accuracy we're gonna go to 60 he had a low pass accuracy so i just want 60 stay at 75 ball handle but then we're gonna go all the way up to an 80 so my people like is this like this is an insane build so far how is this even possible we're literally gonna be able to do so much in every category I'm still looking at that 90 plus speed and agility. Like nobody's getting past you. And then you activate your takeover, man. Insane. Now, this is my favorite part. 60 on the interior defense, because that's what he had. Now, this is where it's at. This is where it's at. So look at this. 97 perimeter defense. We get pick dodge on Hall of Fame. We get on ball medicine on Hall of Fame. We get challenger on Hall of Fame. Off ball pest on Hall of Fame. When you first get your cat breakers, you got to go ahead because you're going to be able to get a 99 perimeter defense. So this is going to be insane, right? Now, he had an 80-something. I don't care about that. I went all the way up to a 91, my people. 91 right here. Like, it just makes sense to go with a 91 because you want to get that gold glove and gold interceptor. You have a max wingspan right now not only that you're gonna get chased down artists aka high flying denier on bronze my people look how insane this build is this, this 97 perimeter defense right when you get your cap breakers you'll have a 99 so you'll be able to get all of this on legend all of this on legend uh immovable enforcer it's kind of crazy it's only oh so you would need 82 to get the um okay so you need 82 to get the move enforcer on silver on the string so it's all good at least we get it on bronze but like this build is ridiculous like we should not be able to make builds like this because look how crazy this build is man what insane right here you can dribble the ball right you can shoot threes you have great inside scoring you're locking people up nobody's gonna be able to just run past you get past you once you get your cat breakers you have a 99 perimeter defense which is gonna be insane um like i don't i mean i don't know like this is this is just insane right so once you put the attributes in like i did you don't get tony allen because this is just like an overpowered ridiculousness but to be honest this build is, is souped up you get a defensive menace which is still a great name because you're gonna be a true defensive artistry menace all right so y'all let me know what y'all thought about this build and until next time much love